intuitive tarot course y'all I'm just learning how to be more focused and to get rid of all the clutter that has been impeding my path and moving forward things have been moving forward but sometimes I have co- I'll start collecting things and I get all these ideas and inspirations <sighs> and now I'm learning better how to discern what's for me and what's not instead of trying to include everything in my experience and instead doing exactly what sparks you know joy enjoyment pleasure balance you know in me peace and joy so yeah that's what I've been over here doing I've got an array of art supplies out I'm doing inventory on everything I'm using my Trello boards to organize my life because as much as I'm creative papers collecting papers and shuffling a bunch of papers around I'm not about that life anymore I'm really really lightening my path again and putting exactly what I want in it for this stage of my life And I feel like that's so important. And it's important for me because I'm I'm sharing how to do this with other people. And I must be practicing the things that I'm talking about in my own life. To me, that is something that I admire about a great teacher or a teacher or someone who is living their truth and living by their own words and decrees that they've set for themselves. So keep your promise to yourself. When you do that, you just feel fulfilled. By what you're doing keep your promise to yourself is keeping your promise to the divine to the one who is holding all of this together because what you want for others as a teacher once said to me that I love so much Ram never amen Shechem or Shechem said king of kings he's calling himself king of kings because he's rising himself up and erecting the divine within himself, which we can all do, hence the name Queen Sarita, a name of endearment to remember to keep rising up. Many ways to do that. You don't have to do it the way I'm doing it, or the way she's doing it, or the way he's doing it. But he said, what you want for others, or what you want for yourself, you should want for others. That's the way of God the creator of all that is or who is holding all of this together the infinite mind the oneness that is and because of that I see you all want so much tarot stuff on this channel I'm really really focusing and paying attention to that I'm going to bring it for you I will drop the spiritual stuff too though because to me they're intertwined for me it doesn't have to be for you though it can be different So yeah, it's about keeping the promise that you made when you were sitting alone. You were contemplating and writing and imagining something more, something better, something greater for yourself. Especially my brown girls out there, brown skin girls. I feel you. I know how it is to see all these images all over that seem like Hey, you'll never make it out. You'll never make it through. You may be feeling that now, but let me assure you, just make a promise to yourself. One that feels lovely when you think of it. Learn how to love yourself. Learn how to give yourself what it is that you want in this life making and keeping that promise to yourself vital key so that's what today's documenting my life journey is about i do tie this in with reading intuitive tarot because for many of us intuitive tarot is something that you've been wanting you're really wanting to dive deep into that even more but it's like man 
it seems to be all over the place. It seems to have so many details. There seems to be so many ways to read tarot. How do you choose the right way for you? Well, I'm going to help you remove all that mysticism, all that mystery, all of that, all those questions. And we're going to explore tarot together because I have been using tarot to tune in with my inner teacher and following my instincts to gain more out of life. The confidence embodying that to do intuitive tarot getting grounded and following the urge to explore my intuition and to listen to it to capture the flash of insight that comes to you we'll learn about that that's what i learned about removing blocks and obstructions blocks and obstructions to intuitive tarot reading no matter what the distance is no matter who it is i'll show you how to connect to something which goes beyond the physical and this is going to help your intuition and your intuitive reading skills grow and flourish so we have so many resources for you now it's about putting them in this one place i have the price for you opening res registration looks like it's going to be 50 dollars for intuitive tarot with me and then after that registration is over, it's going to go up. I know at least it'll go up to 75. It has a lot of resources in there. So yeah, look forward to speaking with you all. This is weeks of training with Intuitive Tarot. Using my method, using the method of me and my ancestors, my spirit guides. I know Soba, they guided me on this. And my spirit guide, Sayofia. But... If you're somebody who made a promise to yourself to keep feeling good, to get a better life, to expand, to become abundant in more ways than one, to have a better communication with your loved ones, your family, to move to where you want to move, to have what you want to have, to be who you want to be, then keep that dream alive. Write about it. Talk about it to yourself. Speak about it often. Feel it. Feel it. The feeling is the secret. Being in a space of basking, of enjoyment, of contentment. So with all of the COVID stuff going on and all these pandemic thingies and all this stuff, you're lighting up your life right now. That's what you do. Don't feel regretful. Don't feel like you need to carry nobody's burdens on your back no more. That shit's over. Everyone. My brothers and sisters. Y'all know who I'm talking to. If you've been carrying burdens on your back. Whether you are. You know. And I'm not minimizing anyone's journey. Mm -hmm. No matter what. gonna do what's best for you and breathe and get ready for this registration for the intuitive tarot course which I'm so excited about the course is gonna be delivered by videos I think that's the best way so without further ado let me get back to doing what I said I was doing which is lightening my load over here keeping my commitment to you and myself keeping my promise to myself I'm going to show you a good hand mudra for that for commitment called Shiva Lingam Mudra and I'm about to do some right now because you want to keep your promise to yourself whether you're a star seed you're black white you're light brown 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 blue everything every color every shade all of you who are divine beings that's who I'm talking to that's who I'm talking to so during this time you know it's a good time to speak to yourself in the mirror to speak to the infinite intelligence within you through a mirror to tell it you love it to share that you're enjoying your life talk about the gratitude talk about the things that are working be grateful don't be upset with yourself if you can't keep it up all day or if you don't rather 
just do it as much as possible a little bit more every day and do it and flow with it it's a way of life this is not something you just come in and fake it's a way of life but your life will change as a result of it so keep your promise to yourself keeping your promise to yourself is keeping your promise to your family because the more you become you you can be come more of what's needed in the world at the same time which is what's happening and that that is a great gift to the whole world and everyone else of course hey eh? whatever your soul is calling for that you feel in your heart in your gut document write that down make a note of it contemplate it and feel how your body feels you'll know what to do and intuitive tarot which is the course we're coming out with we're gonna focus on that for a great I need to focus on it for like three months straight that intuitive tarot piece will help you to have more confidence in yourself and everything else It's a beautiful thing and we'll be removing, removing all obstructions from our path to be able to see ourselves that much more. For me, that means dropping a lot of the hair products. That means letting go of a bunch of visions of myself that I'm not really extra excited about. Observing more, being more obscure, being more clear about what it is I want being more accepting of, accepting of myself and others. Yeah. Reducing sugar intake also. I'm not a doctor, but sugar has been proven to be harmful for the body. Just look it up for yourself, okay? It's on YouTube, it's on the internet, it's all over the place. Decrease your importance on things that are not helping you move forward slowly pull away from those things that's what naturally high life is about doing that in a balanced way and finding your flow dancing in your joy playing more music laughing more these are the things that reverse time and reverse the, the so called pressures of life getting more comfortable with being you being more accepting of yourself and watching how other people accept you more as well. Yeah, so that's it. I'm going to get back to this intuitive tarot course. I'm going to do a full walkthrough of what is in it. It's a whole lot of stuff. Peace.